Mark Vaughn. Alex, what's your last name, Alex? Anaya. Alex Anaya, the medical student, and Lauren, the patient. And we are going to clean out Lauren's ears because there's really good wax in them. The right ear. And we see wax. Wax and wax and wax and wax and wax. So this is a pretty good instrument for getting wax out. see what we can do. Is that hurting? Can I feel it? Yes. Is it hurting? No. Okay. There's oh a little bit of it. Gosh. This is a start. Get some more of that. Oh. oh yeah, we can get all that stuff right there. Just a little bit of clean up there. Oh, you can do that without having to do the water and the solution. Sometimes, sometimes. After a little bit of curatage of the left ear, what do we find? You can see the ear drum. Look at that. I think. Ah, hold on. We, we may yet have to... Flush? <laughs> there is an ear drum, but yeah, it's deep in there. We're going to have to flush. Why didn't you push it through from the other side? Push, push all the way through? You just closed it up. I just what? Closed it. Closed it? Oh, now you can't hear. happens. Yeah, as we're doing it, it pushes in. I must say, you have the easiest cleaning ears. Oh, really? Yes, there are some people who would be screaming uh, for me to be this aggressive. He's got a very high pain tolerance. Yeah, this is great. Oh, I love it. <laughs> makes, makes, makes my job easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Wow. Lauren, you are rapidly becoming my favorite. <laughs> nice. Let me... Take a look inside of your right ear following curatage and see what we have. Okay, we have this big wall of thin cerumen. That we need to break through. Ah, did you see that? I knew you'd feel it eventually. A lot. <laughs> Let me put this on and see if it makes any better. Sorry about that. He was using a bigger trowel. Bigger <laughs> trowel. Let's see. Is that about right? Yeah, I feel you pulling away because that one's way in. So we're at the point now where we have to do irrigation. So we get the water as hard as the patient can stand it. Cold can make them feel dizzy and it's unpleasant. And then some, gotta stick it in my finger, some hydrogen peroxide. And what's sticking to my finger Here. Oh. is the wrapper that was around our scalp vein set. Not that we're gonna stick a needle in a scalp 
or use as veins. But we are going to use the end of this that goes on a syringe. So we cut off the, the needle part. You're happy about that. <laughs> and put it in the sharps container. And then draw up the mixture of hot water, warm water. Let me have you hold that, Lauren. And here's how I do it. I, I use little pulses like that. It's safer for the eardrum. There is risk of rupture of the eardrum when doing this. See how I'm doing that? Just pulse, 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 pulse. Can you tell any difference? Yeah. Do you think it's better? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here. Except now it's Alex's turn. So, Alex. I need gloves. Sorry. Yeah. Alex wants gloves. Okay. So. So irrigation should do it. Wax is a different color than brain. <laughs> brain? It is So do you think water or? Either one. And then let you come back in. Yeah. This is after Dr. Vaughn has done some curatage on the left ear. And I just keep looking the wrong direction. Actually, I'm, I'm scraping the wax into the canal. Sorry, I'm, I'm covering up all the action when I... You gotta attach the camera to this, huh? Actually, there is a way to do that. With the slate, I believe it's called. But it's really difficult to operate, especially on yourself. Well, the second time looking in the left ear after Dr. Vaughn did keratage. So, there's the eardrum. Look at that. So, we're not even going to get that little piece down. Because that is one good. So, how does it sound now? It sounds like, well, I don't have a, a case to sue you on. Excellent. Thank you for joining us. Lauren, I think you're better than when you came in, I hope. I hope so. You're, and, and you got to meet Alex, the medical student who's able to do a little bit of irrigation. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.